You described uh, to the Washington Post a conversation you had with Republican Senator Lindsey Graham on Friday. You came away with the impression that he essentially wanted you to look for ways to toss out mail-in ballots. What exactly did he say to you? Well, he asked if the ballots could be matched back to the voters. And then he, I, I got the sense it implied that uh, then you could throw those out. Uh, for the, and he really would look at the counties with the highest um, fr frequent error of uh, signatures. So that's that's the impression that I got. But, uh, you know, we've got signature match in place. We have signature match when you request the ballot, absentee ballot, and then we have signature match when it comes in. And then with our new online absentee ballot portal, uh, that has photo ID. And so we feel really confident that the election officials have done their job. And that's what they're char charged to do is do their job and make sure the signatures match. I just want to be clear on this, uh, Mr. Secretary. You say uh, Senator Graham wanted you to find ways to get rid of legally cast ballots uh, because CNN asked him about these allegations. He denied them. He says that's ridiculous. Uh, uh, he, his words, that's ridiculous. Well, it's just an implication that uh, uh, look hard and see how many ballots you could throw out. And uh, and I think that they're looking at that as part of a court case. And one actually was subsequently filed, wasn't it? The, uh, the president, uh, as you well know, has uh, attacked you personally. He's calling the Georgia recount, and you're in charge of that. He says it's a scam. That was Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger being interviewed on CNN by Wolf Blitzer, basically saying that Lindsey Graham approached him and asked him if there was any way he could throw out thousands and thousands and thousands of mail-in ballots in Georgia. Basically what Lindsey Graham wanted, South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham, was to go to any part of that state where there was a higher than usual amount of ballots that were flagged via the mail-in system in Georgia. Maybe the signatures on file didn't quite match. It doesn't necessarily mean the ballot is invalid, but it does mean that it's flagged for review and these sorts of things, whereas ballots with no issues just go clean through the system. And Lindsey Graham basically said that not only should those particular flag ballots not be counted, but that in areas where there's a higher amount of flagged ballots, every single mail-in ballot without exception should be thrown out, even if there's no issue with it. And you can see what Lindsey Graham is trying to do. He's trying to get Democratic votes thrown out. Because here's the thing, not everyone in Georgia who voted by mail voted Democrat, but even in areas of the state that tended to lean Republican, it wasn't unusual for Joe Biden to win the mail-in vote in those very red parts of the state or to lose the in-person vote or overall vote in a part of the state 70-30, but be very close to Donald Trump in the mail-in count in those areas, meaning that whether it was in the parts of the state that Biden won big or that Biden tied with Trump or that he lost big to Trump, he was winning or was close in the mail-in ballots everywhere, meaning that for every mail-in vote on average, Biden was gaining a little bit. And so if there were ballots set aside for review, that's fine. That's part of the mail-in system. But what Lindsey Graham was trying to do was disenfranchise Democratic voters in Georgia. And when you disenfranchise Democratic voters in Georgia, you're disproportionately disenfranchising black people in particular. What Lindsey Graham was asking Brad Raffensperger to do, there's no beating around the bush here, was to steal the votes of thousands and thousands and thousands of African-American citizens in Georgia. That's what he was asking Raffensperger to do. Was there any legal way you could disenfranchise entire communities of black people? That's what Lindsey Graham wanted. Because Lindsey Graham knows that when black people get to vote, Republicans lose. That's what he knows. He knows that. And so that's what happened. I'm going to read to you some reporting on this, which I think is actually stronger than what Raffensperger said in that clip. This is from the Washington Post. It says here, in the interview, Raffensperger also said he spoke on Friday to Graham, the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, who echoed Trump's unfounded claims about voting irregularities. In their conversation, Graham questioned Raffensperger about the state signature matching law and whether political bias could have been promoted poll workers to accept ballots with non-matching signatures, according to Raffens Raffensperger. 
Graham also asked whether Raffensperger had the power to toss all mail ballots in counties found to have higher rates of non-matching signatures, Raffensperger said. Raffensperger said he was stunned that Graham appeared to suggest that he find a way to legally to toss legally cast ballots. Absent court intervention, Raffensperger doesn't have the power to do what Graham suggested as counties administer elections in Georgia. Quote, it sure looked like he was wanting the plan, wanting to go down that road, he said. When asked for comment to spokesman for Graham and blah, 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 he said it's ridiculous. He only wanted to ensure that legal ballots were, ballots were counted. B.S. Lindsey Graham wanted to disenfranchise every single black voter he could in Georgia and every single Democratic voter he could in Georgia. Remember this because all of the focus has been on Trump and how he's been soft peddling this coup. But almost every single Republican in that Senate caucus is either cowardly standing in silence, allowing Trump to do it. Or people like Lindsey Graham are working right alongside him, sometimes in the shadows, sometimes in public. You need to ensure that in those runoffs, if you live in Georgia or you know anyone lives in Georgia, that Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff defeat David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. Republicans cannot control the Senate. They would do every bit as much to commit a coup as Donald Trump would if the opportunity arose. They're showing their true form. As bad as Donald Trump is, a Republican Senate might even be worse.